As we mentioned, your test scripts really are the meat of your test cases. The test cases are used to organize what it is you're testing. The test script is the how do I test. We are not going to cover any of the automated test scripts in this demo. We're concentrating on what you can do directly with RQM, and that's the manual test scripts. And as this little example indicates here, you're going to author a series of steps for the tester to follow and record for each of those steps whether or not it passed or failed. So let's go look at a test script and how you author one. So here I am back on my test case on the test script section. My test script listed down here. I'm going to click on that and open up this test script. And it is a manual test script. And what you see are the steps that a user must run through if they are testing this particular piece of functionality. Each one consists of a description of what they should do. In step two here, you can see that they need to select a particular choice and then an expected results. What should happen when they do that? Now, some of my steps, if I scroll down, you can see expected results. I've got a picture of what they expect to see. Some of these steps just have a text description of what to see. Well, what if I want to add a picture to this? That is easy enough to do. I can use any snapshot tool I want. So I'm going to just move RQM out of the way. I'm running a application where when they do that step, I expect them to see this bunch of penguins standing there. So I'm going to just use my little screenshot tool, take a new screenshot of what I expect them to see, and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to right click and paste it. So you author your steps by first describing what they should do, provide pictures if that helps, and then describe what should be the result, and again, add pictures if that helps. You have a fairly rich toolbar here where you have all of the bold and italics and adding links and browsing for images. You can even add tables. Very easy thing to do if I want in this to add a table. All right, here. Enter a table, fill in my values. If I need to add a new step, go to any existing step. Insert a new step before or after. I'll insert one after. So this is your basic manual test case. You author all the steps a user is supposed to do and the results they should see.